Hi guys, welcome to Darren's Toy Channel and welcome to another car boot sale and charity shop haul. Um, I went to two car boot sales today, the toy fair yesterday and just charity shops from this week. Um, starting with this from the charity shop, uh, a New York edition of Monopoly. Uh, cost me, I think, £2. It is complete. Uh, always good to find. Uh, next thing we found was a Panini satchel bag i think it's practically new to be honest uh it doesn't look like it's had anywhere in it at all um 150 my nice little got got need bag next thing we picked up was this vintage um unbranded other than made in hong kong uh basketball game uh it all works the idea is you press the button to score a basket uh, I, can't really, I think it was a pound. Next thing we got was this. Um, I said last week I don't do a lot of clothing. But this one seemed like a good deal. It looks really good condition. It is a Nike golfing shirt. It is an extra large. In nice well, black and grey colours. Um, yeah, again, doesn't look like it's hardly worn at all. So, not too bad. A uh, couple of flushes. We've got for a, a large Mickey. Um, this is a Walt Disney World one. Does look a little bit older. There's no actual date on it, but yeah. So we've got a big Mickey and a big Mini. Uh, this one is again authentic original Disney parks. Um, so it's probably Disneyland Paris or. One of the other ones, don't know. So we've got a big mini and a big Mickey there. Um, staying on that, might as well do this. Picked up this Samsung carry case, the Mickey Mouse one. Uh, cost me three pound, but it is jam packed with the Samsungs. As you can see, it's all falling everywhere. So yeah, we've got loads in there, loads on the bottom. Even got the mini ones all the way up to the the large ones. So yeah, three quid, but a nice little find. Another mini, look. Mickey and Minnie everywhere. Um, stay with that. Got a Disneyland 2000 Mini Mouse from Disneyland Paris, McDonald's toy. Oh, what else you got here? We have got some Star Wars Tezos in a bag. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I, didn't even, I haven't even looked in it. I don't know if it's complete or if these are just the ones that are in there. But, good to find. Keep seeing that around. I think it cost a quid. Some games. We have got Just Dance 2 on the Wii, which will probably be going to CEX. Again, with Sonic Colours. And Monopoly. They was a quid each, uh, and these were 25p each or something. So we got a brand new Lego Batman movie Blu-ray, uh, World Tour Soccer on the PSP, 250 classic goals on the PSP, TMNT animated movie, 2016, is it? Or 2008. Uh, the Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, all PSP movies, which is cool. Uh, you don't see them often often now. Oh, these are part of the Simpson set. I don't know what they are, some sort of houses or whatever. <clears throat> um, we have got this guy. Oh, I think he's Firestorm. I think DC. Um, 2016 Titan series. Firestar, Firestorm. Something like that. So I've got him, got this awesome Biker Mice from Mars bike and one of the later bikers with his antenna still intact. A whole pound that cost me. Got a uh, Hero Mashers Transformers Bumblebee. Uh, 50 pence that was. A Polly Pocket car. This is for the bigger dolls, I'm assuming. 
they normally do something, but well, I don't know. 2001, a little bit discolored, but it was like 50p. Uh, a couple from my news agents, a couple more turtle vans, the party wagons, some Hot Wheels. So these are out now, so they are new, but cool. Uh, we've got this um, Olympus Pearl Corder micro cassette recorder, uh, S721. Need to check it, but there's instructions in there, bags in there, tapes in there, units in there, and it's boxed, which is cool. And then the last one we got from the charity shop. I want to say this is Two Face, but I don't know because I can't see any proper markings on him other than Made in China and FPM81. But yeah, it looks like Two Face to me, other than it's just his face. Uh, yeah, 50p, and he's got some sort of massive oversized gun. Right, as you may have seen on yesterday's video, picked up these guys from the vintage toy fair. Ric Flair, staying in the collection, and Lex Luger, again, staying in the collection to go with the Sid I've already got. On to today, right, I went to two boot fairs today, it wasn't great, let's say. But I picked up a couple of bits. Save those bits to last. Right. Uh, first one we got was a vintage 94 Power Rangers green Bendem or Bendy figure. Which is, you know, 94, not too bad condition. 50 whole pence. And then the next thing we got was this Bucky O'Hare 1992 Toad Droid. I can't think what they're called. Battle Toad. Again, 50p. Same person. Uh, next one was, I think, five figures in a bag. So we had... Da -da -da -da. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one. Oh, no, six. Six figures for £2. Start with the worst one. We have got a 2000 Action Man from McDonald's Toys. Uh, we have got a General Zod. From the Man of Steel movie. Man of Steel? Yeah. Then we've got a Superman with some transparent red cape and a black S on his chest. Got a Hawkeye from the Avengers line. Literally, I think I just saw one of these a couple of weeks ago. I think about four, five quid for it. Got a 2014, I think. Is it? I've seen it somewhere. 2011 Han Solo. Unfortunately, no weapons. A little bit loosey, but £2 for the lot. And then we've got this guy, I believe it is possibly Kirk from the movie. Oh, I, don't, I don't know, Star Trek, him. From the newer, newer movies. Uh, next thing we've got, all from the same guy. Five figures. So we have got the Vulture from Spider Man. Uh, we have got a 20, 2004 Chewbacca. Quite a bit of articulation in the little guy, but a cool Chewbacca figure. We have got a Fright Features Egon with obligatory broken tie. Because they're always broken. We have got a Batman from the Dark, the Dark Knight, or what? What was it called? Basically, there is an old Batman and he fights Superman. Old fat Batman. So we got that one. He's from a battle pack with the Joker and Superman, but cool to pick up. And then we got this guy. It is clearly the Men in Black. It is from two thousand and two. This is obviously Agent J. Will Smith. So you've got the likeness, but... You're not alone in the universe. Doesn't sound like Will Smith. That guy's got to be an alien. I'm Agent J. So I don't know how that works, but yeah, so fully working. We need the deneuralizer. And then... Is that all you got? That measures about a 10 on my weirdo meter. Can I see some ID? Do not touch that. I'll make this look good. You're not alone in the universe. <sighs> That lights off as well. Three little green LEDs. That guy's got to be an alien. But all that from the one guy. 
with the last item after this one. This cost me a quid. It is a 2011 Darth Maul lightsaber. The double extending one. Which is cool. Considering, you know, really good blades, really good paintwork. This is, what, nine years old? And it is really, really good. I mean, a couple of little chips, but nothing too major, considering it is a toy to be hit around with. Which is awesome. And then this. I picked this up with all the figures. I paid out on the figures and this. Cost me £15. This is a 2016 Ghostbusters Proton Pack. Uh, it does supposed to come with a Slimer, which goes in there. And it is a projector. Now, it didn't have the Slimer in it, but I have got the Slimer I picked up in a previous boot sale, which has nothing to do with this. I didn't know what it was from. Um, yes, yeah, so I paid £15 for the lot, basically. With the five figures, or whatever it was, and this. Uh, looking on eBay, these are quite collectible. Like 35, 40 quid collectible. Which is, it is what it is. It works. I had batteries in it earlier. My son's had a go at it. Um, yeah, that is literally what it does. There's a little light in here. It's a picture on the wall. And that is it. Um, yeah. It wouldn't be a picture, it would be a silhouette of Slimer. Anyway, I am rambling. But that is it. Find of the day. A Proton Pack from 2016 Ghostbusters. Uh, and that is it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you down the road. Bye now.